What's up? We're back again. Yep. Uh, talk about uh, Henry Cavill, the best nerd. But before we get there, we could probably talk about what we're wearing, too. So, one episode, Key had mentioned Live and Let Nerd. That's a t-shirt idea. Oh, Guess see. what? It's a t-shirt, right? Live and Let Nerd. And then uh, I'm wearing a Never Grow Up shirt. So, we're not calling it merch. We're calling it nerch. See what I did there? Uh, we got 12 designs coming out. Yep, all the mm -hmm. ideas. Um, but yeah, so we're doing some cool stuff. Just wanted to let you guys know about the shirts we're wearing and why we're wearing them. But um, yeah, so it's Kyle and Key again, and we're gonna talk about Henry Cavill. So, what is it about Henry Cavill? Because I can tell you lots of in depth stories. So, like, dude is a, the dude is the king of nerds, number one. Mm -hmm. He's a nerd through and through. Yeah. Okay. The reason he left Witcher is because he actually knows the Witcher story better than the writers do. So when he was doing Witcher, he was so irritated with the people doing the show, he left. Because they weren't following the storyline. He knew more about every character in that TV show than the people making the show. Yeah, so... Same thing with Superman. He's a huge Superman fan, too. Yeah, so that's my... I'm going to go on a tangent for a minute. Let me cook this tangent up a little Hang bit. On. Let's get back on the... Get to the timer, right? All right, yeah. So, my tangent is this. Superman was meant to be played by Henry Cavill. I am very frustrated by the fact that he is no longer Superman. Why is he not Superman? Why? He looked like Superman, and now they're trying to evolve this story, and they're trying to make another Superman, and basically they're just going to warm up Smallville, in my opinion. That's basically they're gonna go younger Superman. That's Smallville. It's already been done, DC. It's already been done, DCEU. I know you guys think you know everything. You clearly don't. You don't know what fans <laughs> want. Henry Cavill is Superman. Find a way. Make it so. Hell to that point. But no, I'm not. I digress. I'm, he's let me go cook this for a minute. Henry Cavill is Superman. It frustrates me when you take the person that is meant to play a role. And he wants to play it. There should be a Man of Steel 2 because Man of Steel 1 did not stink the bed up. It was really good. It was yeah. really a great movie. And why didn't you do another one? You just went to that Justice League abomination. <laughs> so I remember going to see Justice League at Atlantic Station. Okay. With some friends. We went to see it and I was like, what is what is, what is happening? Because Look at disgust on my face from that movie. <laughs> It was the unjust league. It was the unjustice league. There was the a, unjust a, league. It was the disservice of justice served <laughs> to the people for that crap fest. Can we say crap fest? Ah, you can say crap fest. Okay, say crap fest. Yeah, right. So bad. I think I think um, you're right, and and I think the reason he's not Superman. There's been a lot of articles, a lot of speculation because James Gunn came in to. Is it James Gunn? Yep, James Gunn. He's coming in to take over the the DCU. And so I think um, it, it was a creative decision maybe to move on. But they did tease him in the Flash movie. Yeah, they did. Okay. So there's so many things, but then they had Supergirl, right? Yeah. So she was all cool. that stuff aside, okay, mm -hmm. Henry Cavill, you can't really find a better Superman. Nah. Right? And even with Smallville, people love Smallville. I'm like, okay, Smallville was basically a whole freaking TV show where we knew this dude was Superman. We finally get to see him fly Superman at the end. Mm -hmm. That's all Smallville was. Yeah. So there was, for, for me, I didn't like it as much because there wasn't a whole bunch of substance there to me. It was the development of who Superman was. And and the kid did look like Superman. Yeah, I mean, but but we're talking about Henry Cavill. It's the whole thing, uh, on, small, small thing on Henry Cavill. So. Yeah. The guy is a nerd. You know, one of the interviews, it's funny because it's, it's funny because I, I watched this interview a few times and we actually posted on Instagram was Henry Cavill, like, what is it that you nerd out about? And he immediately said Warhammer 40K. It wasn't even like, it didn't even take half a second, dude said Warhammer 40K. And then the girls on the TV show were laughing at him. Mm -hmm. They were like, ha, ha, ha. It's like, he's for real. Yeah. And two seats down from him, this dude, him like kind of lock eyes, he goes, wait, what army are you? And he goes, oh, I'm Necrons. And, like, and they, they immediately become best friends, right? Which is kind of how dudes do, right? Like, yeah. you like that? You like that? Oh, cool. We, have, we could, we could, we could, mm -hmm. we could play. Um, the dude is, he is a nerd. Through, he builds PC gaming. He plays PC gaming. He's been a Warhammer 40K person his entire life. So the guy is 
a nerd through and through, and he knows more about Superman, and he knows more about The Witcher than the people that are making the movies. So that's, clearly. It, clearly. <laughs> clearly. So now he's leaving The Witcher, and like now, because we're going to do a Witcher 3 season review, I'll do one, because Witcher's one of my favorite shows, and it's so good. And um, season three, I haven't started watching yet. I'm kind of waiting to see the whole thing mm-hmm. in totality to do a review. But it kind of feels like the end of an era because they're going to put Liam uh, Hemsworth in there. But as far as Henry Cable goes, you know, he's Superman. So yes. DC, I don't care what you got going on, what you think you got going on, but he is Superman. Henry will always be Superman. He will always be Superman. And he, well, Christopher Reeves will always be Superman, he will always be Superman Infinite, but Henry Cavill made Superman the contemporary Superman that we know today. He should be, he should have gotten way more movies, way more justice than he got from DC. Yeah. He, there should have been a shit, he should have been more in Shazam that would have actually made Shazam not crappy. So, like, you think instead of Wonder Woman and Shazam, it should have put not Shazam because Shazam was Wonder Woman, Shazam was Flash. Wonder Woman. Not, not Flash, no. No. Um, what's my guy Rock's movie that he that Rock coveted for years and they oh, Black Adam. It. Black Adam. Yep, sorry. Sorry, guys. I get names mixed up sometimes. <laughs> um, blame it on my head, not my heart. But um, <laughs> Black Adam would have been way better if they would have made they would have made Superman go to Kundok. Shazam should have been in it. They would have made it again. I go to Back to my old original statement. Take the animated, put it in live movie form. I okay. DCEU exclusively. Cause for some reason, Marvel's just started crap, crapping the bed. They haven't crapped the bed on that stuff. They don't their what if stuff is good. But DCEU, take the animated, move it over here to live action. That simple. That simple. Could be, that simple. It could be that simple. It should be that simple. That simple. And make right. Henry Cavill. You, you, if you have to, give him whatever he wants. Give Cre- him creative control. Give him creative control. I'm cool with him getting uh, creative control of Witcher, creative control of Superman. Man. And the dude, know, the dude knows Warhammer. I, I am super excited, but also very nervous about Warhammer 40K. I, I know a lot about it. I haven't mm-hmm. played it fully and gotten in depth with it because that's one other thing I want to get into. Because when I get into it, I'm gonna go. You don't go in too far all in, but yeah. I know the universe. It sounds like a really cool universe, and the cool thing is, is you have like the King of Nerds and the person that lo- like the first answer the guy gave was Warhammer 40K, so it's a dream come true project. The mm-hmm. only thing is, hopefully, the people producing and hopefully the people working with him allow him to do what we as fans feel like we could do. Now sometimes it's not always the best thing. I will be honest. Like no. as far as TV shows, like, like people, like people that work on Star Wars, you know, you want to do these things for the fans, but like you know, we can get to that whole thing about Star Wars. Oh my gosh. Anyway, but mm-hmm. Henry Cavill, in the we trust. I will say, I yeah. think a lot of nerds rock with you. We love you. You are the nerd of nerds. You are Superman. You are Gerald from Witcher, and. Whatever form of Warhammer 40k you do, I'm here for it. We're gonna do some cool stuff with it. I think you're gonna do some dope stuff. I agree. So this is a Henry Cable thing. Yeah. We it's okay. We can bro out on Henry Cable. Yeah. We we're good with you. Yeah. So next time, if y'all like Henry Cable, drop a like and a comment. Please subscribe and look for uh not merch, but nerds merch. coming soon. Peace. Peace. And edit those two together. That's cool as hell.